Item number, SCP-4192. Object class, safe. Site responsible, Nethaz Site-98. Director, Harvey Henshaw. Research head, Eves Tartakovsky. Assigned task force, non-applicable. Level 34192 classified. Special containment procedures. SCP-4192 is to be kept inside a quantum electrodynamic vacuum chamber, which is placed within a high-value safe class anomalous item locker. Testing with SCP-4192 should only be limited to research and with permission from Dr. Phoenix. Description SCP-4192 refers to the nucleus of a single hydrogen atom that emits radio waves at random intervals. Extensive analysis on SCP-4192 has shown that despite its abnormal nature, it behaves and functions properly as any nucleon or hadron would, having a positive electric charge, an elementary charge, and possessing a mass less than that of a neutron. Research on SCP-4192's makeup has been inconclusive, as SCP-4192 does not appear to be composed of quarks but of something else entirely. Analysis of the radio waves generated by SCP-4192 have been recorded at 15 to 18 megahertz in the form of cosmic background noise. Addendum 4192.1 Experimentation Due to the sensitive nature of SCP-4192, the Artificial Intelligent Conscript, Goliath AIC, was created specifically to handle equipment and containment as well as perform experiments pertaining to SCP-4192. On January 4th, 2021, an experiment was conducted to ascertain the physical properties of SCP-4192, headed by Dr. Tartakovsky under the supervision of Dr. Phoenix. Prior to testing, a hypodermic needle was refined by SCP-914 and attached to a robotic arm apparatus in order to interact with SCP-4192. During the experiment, Goliath AIC detected repulsion emanating from the atom as it breached the atomic orbital of SCP-4192, claiming that the repulsion was similar to that of magnets repelling each other. Despite this observation, Goliath AIC was ordered to continue with the test and push the needle further into the atom. The experiment was immediately interrupted by an Omega-1 alert from Foundation satellites, which reported an extremely large celestial object approaching the planet. Imaging from the satellite feed depicted a tubular metal rod with a projected collision directed towards the North American continent that was expected to strike Philadelphia, the current location of Site-98. Goliath AIC immediately withdrew the needle apparatus from SCP-4192, effectuating the large object to immediately reverse in its direction until it could no longer be detected by the satellites. Following this, all testing with SCP-4192 is currently forbidden. There are currently no plans to be made of SCP-4192's research.